Oh, Alright, this is going to be uh, the fourth uh, video of uh, the redux of the Blu-rays. Hopefully the lighting's a bit better because the lighting was really bad uh, yeah, on the third one. Um, right, first up is uh, Dead Man. Um, really, really good kind of psychedelic western with um, Johnny Depp. Really, really has got a good cast. Um, Gabriel Byrne, Lance Hendrickson, John Hurt, or Mitchum. Oh, it's his last final screen before, um, performance as well. Um, Michael Wincott is in this as well. I do like Michael Wincott. I'm sure Michael Wincott is in this. I'm trying to look, cause it's kind of hard looks at the camera. But yeah, this is a really good film, man. Really, really weird. I had this on VHS. I'm really careful with the shelf, man. I haven't really screwed it in properly. So <laughs> if I make a mad dash, like it's probably to catch something that's falling. Dead Man's Shoe is probably one of the best British films in the last 20 years. I can't really talk about it because I don't really, you know, it would take a lot of them um, describing, but it's, um, it would spoil things. It's, uh, it's a fantastic film, honestly. It deserves any hype you hear about it. Um, <coughs> Studio Canal, um, Digibook of Deer Hunter. Again, great, great film. Great film in, in, in places. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's still good. That's no, quite tough to get out. It's a Latvian movie. Um, Fenders of Riga. I think it's coming to the end of World War One. Yeah, it's yeah, it's in 1919. Just uh, basically, um, I think they're, yeah, they're fighting against the Soviets, and there's still parts of um, parts of I think German occupied Latvia. So the sh shelf is a real bugger, so you can see it shaking. I need to screw this in a bit more. Um, Delicatessen, Stu Canal as well. Really, really great film. Real nice addition. Just gonna be a bit delicate with this. <laughs> uh, deliverance um, yeah great film again in parts um, it kind of sported for me you know You know, when I found out the um, kid with the banjo it's not him actually playing you know it's um, someone else's hand um, behind him kind of the chair it's kind of spoiled it slightly because I, I always I always had an idea that I always thought he was actually playing it when I was a kid you know uh, Departed still book Amazing film, honestly, you know, um, again, you know, watch like, um, Fernand Affairs films as well, but you know, that's, that's a great film in its own right. Um, Devil's Backbone, um, Spanish uh, ghost story, um, really, really good, really good. Oh god, Devil's Double, um, had a decent, um, kind of 40 minutes and then it just got so absurd, I mean, it was absurd anyway, um, it's a nice steel book, um, not a really great film, I just found it too, too ridiculous in places. Um, died one, absolute classic, just a great, great film, I oh, just, I love it. Um, died two, which, which is good man, I think it's shit on a bit, um, I think, um, I think it's a really good film, I think Bill Salah does a great job, memorable for his, kind of, <laughs> um, naked kind of scene where he's kind of like moving around the room and I think he's really good in it um I sound a bit weird then I mean it I, I kind of remember the film like you know from that bit <laughs> Start of a Vengeance that was good as well um right have here this is um from CJ Entertainment um the digi pack of a uh, Dirty Carnival really really good film you haven't seen this. this is a great addition um yeah Trying to move this aside a bit tightly packed in. Um Dirty Harry, um great film. Um Digi Book. Um I think my my, my favourite Dirty Harry film is the second one. I do like that film a lot. Um Still Book of District Nine, I really really enjoyed that. Uh oh, Digi Book of Doctor Shivago, this is a bit battered, which is sadly un slightly unfortunate you see at the top there. Um I got it for a, I got it very cheap, I suppose that's why. Um Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. It's one of those it's one of those kind of classic films that I need to get around to watching. I'm 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 going through my Hong Kong kind of thing, spaghetti western. Once I've done that I'm I'm gonna go back to some classics and then I, I like to have different kind of I like to kinda of watch kind of horror movies in the winter to appreciate them, appreciate them a lot more, you know what I mean? Dog Day Afternoon, one of my favourite Sydney Lamet films. Sydney Lamet is probably my favourite director. Him and um him and Walter Hill probably I think two of my favourites um Donny Brasco really, really good film I think Al Pacino does a great job he's probably his um the last real good movie 
you know. I think his kind of recent catalogue um, hasn't been that great. Um, downfall, fantastic German film. Bruno Gantz is an absolutely oh, an amazing job as Hitler. He's he's so so good. Um, I think Bruno Bruno Gantz is in Boys in Brazil. I'm sure there's a young Bruno Gantz in that. I'm sure he's um, Doctor Strange of Digibook. Um, Again, another film I need to get around to watch. And I have, I have seen it. I'm sure I saw it years and years ago. I'm sure I enjoyed it. Drown Me to Hell, probably the, probably the best kind of horror film in the last 20 years. Honestly, um, when I saw it at the cinema, it was a real, probably one of my favourite cinema experiences. Um, absolutely awesome film. Really good. A Drive still book. Now, don't get me wrong. This is this is a great film. I think it's from one. It's one of those films where it's kind of suffered from. I think. Um, Kind of a real vast kind of overhype. People really overhyping the movie. It is a good movie. Um, I'd have li I'd have liked the ending to be a bit more conventional. Um, I think I think the standout guy in this is Albert Brooks. Albert Brooks still a show in this. I mean, Ryan Gosling's great, but you know, um, so is Ron Perlman. But Albert Brooks, man, he's 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 so good in this. He, he I think he makes that movie, in my opinion. His performance. Um, Jude Day. Um, you know, actually, really. Pretty good comedy, like the, the scene in the car with those two when he's trying to sleep with Danny Jr. It's really funny. Um, I enjoyed that. I thought it was okay. No, no, more than okay. I thought it was very good. Um, right. Um, Easy Rider. Um, great film. Great edition as well. Lovely digibook. Um, you know, great, great film, man. It's a very, very sad film. You know, it is. I mean, particularly in the latter half. Um, Eastern Promises. Um, it, it's an alright Cronenberg film. It, it's very brutal in places. Probably a standout scene is um, it's, uh, in the Turkish baths with a Vigo. Um, I prefer History of Violence more. Um, it's Australian. Um, still book of Veg of Darkness. Mel Gibson kind of gone on the rampage. Real good. I mean, I hear the I hear the series with um, is it Bob Peck? I hear that's really really good. Um, I need to get around and watch that one. Um, El Cid, one of my favourite favourite um, epics, historical films. Um, Charlton Heston's so good in this. Herbert Lum's great as well. Um, it's it's a really really great film. Start, oh God, who is that Aussie actor? He's out of um, Vikings as well, and he plays. I think it's the governor, the Muslim governor of Seville in this. Uh, and he gets thrown over the wall. I can't think of his name. Very weird actor. Um, I know he's Australian, I can't think of his name, I think he's very good in that as well. Uh, this is Ed, El Mariachi in Desperado. You know, Desperado's a, oh, such an awesome film, I absolutely, absolutely love that film. Um, this is uh, Election, um, this is one, two, real, real great, great, great films. Um, I'd really recommend them, you know, great kind of, um, great crime films. Um, really, really good. Well worth seeing. Um, you know, they're, they're very good. Um, uh, this is Studio Canal, um, Digibook of Elephant Man. Um, I've seen Elephant Man many years ago. It's one of those films that like, I don't really like what, you know, subsequent viewings, I find it really, oh, you know, kind of harrowing, man, you know. It's one of, you know, some of those films, it's like, um, I don't know, certain films you kind of see once or twice, you know. Kind of like, you know, Cannibal Holocaust, you see it once, something. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that, but you know, one of, not comparing it to that at all, but you know, one of those films that, you know, I find it really, you know, the stuff Merritt goes through in that, you know, I find it really, really hard to watch. Um, Elite Squad, absolutely just badass Brazilian film. Oh man, just absolute, just amazing kind of a violence. Um, really, really great, great film. Follows them um, both, kind of the elite kind of, um, well, the elite squad of kind of um, policemen in um, this is Rio, isn't it? I think if you enjoy playing um, Call of Duty, you know the scene and uh, the bits in the favelas, and because I'm, I'm, I still haven't finished Max Payne yet. Played that recently, which is an absolutely fucking amazing game. The, the scenes in the favelas and that. Just, if you like that, that just watch these. Awesome, awesome film. Now the second one is a little bit different. It's a bit more of a, shows a bit more of the political scheme because it's showing the drug gangs kind of getting wiped out. Because 
I think uh, the militias have really formed. The militias in Brazil, look, if, if you're Brazilian and I get this wrong, I do apologise. Um, I, I get the impression it's a lot of kind of civil service people, um, police and kind of firemen, and they're kind of lending their hand into kind of like organised violence, organised crime. And uh, they're making a big money out of racketeering and kind of um, various other kind of behaviour. But this film is really, really good. I need to get the... Um, Chinese metal pack coming out with um, the boat symbol on the front, but really good film. Man, honestly, um, the directors aren't making a third one. There's no need to, you know. It's it, it, they're great films, um, really good films. Um, the first Elizabeth, um, real good. You know, Cat Blanchett does a great job. Uh, the beginning uh, when oh man, those Protestants are getting burnt at the beginning. Probably one of the most har most harrowing beginnings I've seen in a film, at least you know a mainstream film. You know, it's um, really good. The cast is great. Um, but yeah, the beginning of that is uh, very good. Daniel Craig playing um Jesuit assassin. Young kind of Daniel Craig. And the second film, Golden Age, obviously they've put a lot more money into it. It's pretty good, but it problem is he's got two actors that I don't rate at all. And you're looking at him there, one of them. Um, I think I don't really like Clive Owen. I find him really boring and bland. And you've got that Reese Fans as well. And I, I find him pretty irritating. Um... You know, especially like, you know, some of the shit he was doing with, you know, David Thewlis' missus as well. I thought I was, I found him a bit of a prick, you know what I mean? Um, Elvis, um, Kurt Russell, amazing film. Big, I'm a big Elvis fan. Um, I kind of like a wide range of music, but, you know, I, I like Elvis hell of a lot. Um, yeah, this is a good film as well. John Carpenter as well, fair play to him. Um, one of my favourite Arnie films coming up here. End of Day, I saw this at the cinema. Um, really good film, man. Ah, oh, just Jericho Kane, probably one of his one of his best names as well. Gabriel Byrne, Gabriel Byrne is so good in this man. I, 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 this film kind of got a bit of flack at the time, and I really don't know why. Kevin Pollock playing his partner. There's so many, there's so many. Oh God. Oh man, Gabriel Byrne is so good in that. Honestly, it's it's um, it's great. Um, Enter the Dragon. I, I don't need to say anything about this film. How just amazing it is. I think I think there's one thing I could turn back, but I would just John Saxon killing Bolo. Nah, wouldn't happen. I wanted Bolo to kill him to be quite honest with you. I hear there's um, I hear there's a version of it in the Dragon that some early versions. I'm sure there's a scene where Bolo gets castrated. Saxon castrates him, but it should have been Bruce Lee and him fighting. You know what I mean? Um, you yeah. know, and this is Enter the Void. This is the um, um, media kind of book of it. Um, Really, really weird film, um, Gaspar Noe. Um, it's a lovely addition. It's a very weird film. It's an experience type thing, you know. It's not a thing you kind of enjoy. Like um, Essential Killing, Vincent Gallo. Kind of a weird film. I, I didn't. It was all right. It was. Um, it wasn't one of the best. Um, all right. Even the rain. This film. Um, Got Louis Tozar in again. Um, I think they're filming a uh, the Life of Columbus in. They're filming it in Bolivia. It's supposed to be set in um, Santo Domingo, but it kind of um, kind of mirrors the treatment of the Indians by the Spanish in the late 15th and early 16th centuries to the way the film crew are kind of treating them, the kind of the local Bolivians just treating them like shit. So um, yeah, it, it, it was a pretty good film. I I, I kind of enjoyed it. Um, Evil Dead, amazing. Look, I don't need to tell you about Evil Dead. You know, this is um, this is the limited edition one. It comes with the bonus features. Um, great film, really good transfer, man. Really great transfer. Um, Evil Dead Two, great transfer on this as well. Um, look, they're awesome. I mean, you can't not like the Evil Dead, can you? God, I mean, um, Excalibur. I had this on VHS way back in the day. My dad used to love it. Um, John Borman, yeah. It, it, it is... A, do you know what? I need to see this again. I can't really judge this. Um, yeah, Nicole Williamson died a few months back, didn't they? I think he died in about January. Yeah. But I, I, I do need to see it again. Right, uh, this is Exiled. Another real excellent film. Um, you know, you got to... You know, check this one out. It's it's really really good. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's 
fantastic film star like Anthony Wong and you can't go wrong with Anthony Wong and the last on this shelf just on the 15 minute mark which is good Exodus Digibook um, oh man I hear horrible rumblings of them kind of doing a sort of a is it a 10 part sort of adaption so I, I can't tell if it's an adaption of the original novel or a sort of a, a sort of sort of an Exodus sort of spin off but you know kind of following kind of I, I really don't know what it is at first. I mean, I hope to God it's not like a remake. remake you know, just oh, just leave it alone, please, God. Stop milking, stop milking the cash cow, man. You know, it's just gonna be an abomination. There's no need. Leave it alone. It's brilliant. Leave it. It's fine. So yeah, that that's um, the end of this um, Redux. And yeah, I'll be back with another one shortly. Uh, cheers.